What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. In the last episode, we maxed out our temperance rank with Kawakami, and we did more Contronaut stuff, including a shadow showdown with our so-called friend Mishima. I'm wondering what that's all about. Futaba's downstairs, but no one gives a fridge. What are we doing? We're not hanging out with your reach, I can tell you that. Uh, first things first, it is Sunday, so I want to go to the underground walkway, so we can, uh, do this. And use this here, I'm just going to get off that. Uh, yes, I'd want? love to buy some fruit juice. Thank you. What kind of fruit juice we get? I didn't need it, I probably said, but who knows. I'm gonna keep the cycle going with this, even if it's something we already maxed out. Um... Oh, guts. Yeah, that's All nice. Right. Nice. Alright. Yusuke texted us right here. Alright, cool. Hello, Yusuke. I would like to hang out with you today. Don't seem so Why? shocked. Alright. Do you remember Director Kawanabe from the Japanese Art Support Foundation? He kind of offered his support to the Madarame's house. I'd like your assistance with him. Do you have time to spare? Of course I do, Yusuke. What bond rank are we with you, Yusuke? An idea has dawned. Six? That's what I thought. Okay. Give it. Thank you. Or oh, truly kind. I found it quite suspicious that he would offer money to a mere high school student like myself. I am grateful for his offer, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Um. You know. Indeed. I must cling onto any semblance of hope I can find in this world. Very well, I will call him. He says he's willing to meet with me this very instant. I would appreciate it if you could join me, Kyle. Your presence would help ease my societal discomfort, as well as diffuse the temptation of money. Furthermore, your composure will allow you to tell if he is truly attempting to escape. Let us be off. Kawanabe san is waiting for us at the sushi. I already told him that you will be coming, so let us go. Come. I've ordered your portion as well. Please eat freely. No. Before that, there is something I would like to ask you. Just who are you? Hmm, an interesting question. My work involves gallery management, but my hobby hobbies are diverse. Foundation is just one of my hobbies. Broadly speaking, we're responsible for scouting and nurturing talented youth involved in the art world. We offer free scholarships, mediate study abroad programs, and we also connect young artists to customers. At a time, even Madarame participated in our organization. Sensei? I, I mean Madarame? Indeed. A good many benefited from his time working with us. We were aware of the dark rumors about him, but we could never have seen his confession coming. Well, I suppose it's likely he was deceiving us that whole time. <coughs> Matarame. To think I once relied on his teachings, called him my mentor. This is all because of him. It is his fault I can no longer view paintings with pure heart. Hmm? In the past, simply the desire to paint led me to beauty seek beauty. But now... I find myself constantly weighed down by the search for awards or the praise of others. An ugly attachment has fastened itself upon my work. I can no longer paint how, how I used this to. Be? My art is tainted. I see. However, it would be wasteful to let your talent dry up. Our foundation would gladly support you. Not only a former student of the infamous Madarame, but someone with those looks. There is definitely a market for you. We'll sell you as the tragic, handsome artist. That, as he said, I'm wondering the same thing. Exactly as it sounds. Having your ideas stolen by Madarame? Losing a place to live? Hungry for food? An unstable air about you makes for the perfect tragedy. A story like yours will sell even to those who don't understand art. A story? If you don't have one in the modern climate, nobody will even mention your name. Don't worry, we'll handle the details, but in return, you must sell your work through my gallery. 
You will take a mediation fee, but you'll be granted steady revenue and a nice customer base as well. Do not mock me. How foolish. Tragedy? Looks? Story? Those have nothing to do with art. At the end, this is only about money. That which taints pure beauty. How immature. Excuse me? It seems you haven't learned anything after all. You're not looking at reality objectively. Is wealth really that horrible? And beyond that, how long will you continue to chase those illusions of yours? Purity? Art? I decline. Shut your mouth, I reject your offer. I thought you of all people would have the resolve to use art to make a living. I have that resolve. However, I also believe such a life should only come via proper assessment. Hmm. In that case, I have an opportunity for you. My foundation will soon be holding a competition for young artists from around the nation. The prize shall be our support. We'll bring customers from around Japan to see the next great talent. There will be a great deal of pressure on you, should you enter. Or perhaps, are you too afraid? What did you say? I wonder if you have what it takes to withstand a skill-based assessment of that magnitude. I look forward to finding out. Now then, it seems there's no use in any further discussion. You can have them send the bill to my office. You are unforgivable. That avaricious bastard. Why is that all artists talk about is money? 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 Has the true meaning of art been lost? Kyle. Yes. You are correct. My passion can change the world. However, I would starve to death without money. Passion alone may fill my heart, but it cannot fill my stomach. What a troubling predicament. You have my thanks. Anywho, I am glad that you chose to accompany me here. I may have bit my tongue off in anger had it only been for you. In other words, you are a soothing force in my life. Alrighty. Get a deep clean ball. Yeah. Allows. Okay. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Okay. I I will partake in Kawanabi's exhibition. I'm going to display my ability and prove him wrong. Come, let us go home. Hmm. Actually, we should eat first. Sushi has done nothing wrong after. Let us return home. Ah, you're back. Well then. Oh, the whole shopping programs are awesome. What do we got? Sonic socks. Yeah, why not? Let's buy them. I love buying this stuff. You know, I haven't checked up on my plant in a while, so like, I don't know how that thing's doing. Hopefully it's not dying. Does that be awkward? Nice. Oh, it's pretty good for now. Okay. All right, who wants to hang out? Hawaii. Um, just Hawaii, okay. Guess that's our answer. Let's go to... I feel like I passed it. Here's some shop, there we go. Alright. Hello. I want to work. Yes. 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 Okay, I guess we'll go there. You know, Kshira Park, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Come with me to check it out. <laughs> not bad. It's easy to get here. And there's a lot of open space. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for telling me about it. <laughs> I'm surprised you figured that out. I want to give a student who's prepared for the high school ex entrance exams a chance to relax. Either way, thanks for today. Look. 
I'll continue being flexible with our deal. Make sure you keep being useful for me, alright? Man, there's so much nature here. It must be really peaceful during the day. But it's places like this where you're most likely to run into trouble. So, just be careful. I remember playing with something like this. I think it was a duck, though. Anyway, you ought to hold on to it for now. For future purposes, and all. A swan boat. My favorite. Later. Thank you. See you, kid. Okay. New day at school. Good morning. How are you feeling? A bank, a period, no a spaceport, anything goes in the cognitive world, I propose. Anywho, this is in on a grander scale than before, so we'll have to do some research. We should get moving. Why don't we go to the palace today? No! <laughs> I see. Okay, I'm sorry, my oh, oh, we're not going today just because I don't know to. Hey! Fifteen days left. Shut up, Morgana. Good grief. Yes. Are you in a train? I thought you wanted to get better. I'll be at the arcade today. It would be fun to hang out with you. Oh, yeah, let's go hang out with them. I'll be waiting. Hello, Shinya. Hey! There's a Phantom Thieves capsule toy machine at the shop in the back alley. You can get all kinds of Phantom Thieves stuff. I got a Phantom Thieves badge. Where I'll we'll get next. You're here to train today, right? Are you ready? Alright, study under them. Alright! Let's keep playing. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. You bastard! What the? You made the same mistake last time. What are you doing? Don't you get it? You can't just shoot all over the place. The king's so awesome at that game. Yeah, but he's got such a bad attitude. It's like he's bipolar. I wonder how long that high school is gonna be able to keep up. Uh, no, not like that! You haven't gotten better at all! What are you gonna learn? Really late. It's you taking someone to figure it out. Yeah, you're right. Hey! I've always been good at shooting games, but I absolutely never want to lose that gun about. So I guess I tend to get all heated up about it. It's time for all the elementary school kids to go home. Do you understand, little boy? Shut up. Do I need to call your mom? Fine, I'll leave, alright? Seriously. I really wanted to keep playing. My house is so boring. No one's ever there, and there's never anything to do. Adults and high schoolers are so lucky. They get to play all night long. Having that much time helps you get stronger. I wish I could play all day instead of going to school. I'd never lose another game. I need to get really strong with the Phantom Thieves. Of course I can. I want to be just as strong as they are. I believe in the Phantom Thieves and their strength. Thank you. That'd be great. Thanks. Seriously, though. Stop thinking about that important. It was super annoying, huh? If he says something again, I might just have to use that move on him. The one I taught you, remember? You should use it sometime. Nice, nice. Chance to enter a gun-based all-out attack after a successful ambush. This is a great move because, like it says, if you get an ambush, uh, all you gotta do is like hold down X because it'll give you like a little sound cue. I think it'll tell you to hit X2 and you can get some good damage off to start a battle. As long as you get the ambush, it's not guaranteed every time too, but good good stuff to start a battle off. Alright. Bullet hell. I dig it. Well, 
it's just a moving game, so it won't work against actual people. I wish it did. Then I'd be strong in real life. I need to be able to win in real life. I'm going to home. Yeah, get that kind of stuff. We gotta get the max out. Because we need max kindness to hang out with Sochiro later on. Later! Say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. Alright. Ah, you're back. My box already came. My Sonic sucks. Yes. Did anyone text me? No? What a loser. Alright. Uh, so, Jiro, we can go up with. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Let's hang out with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. We haven't hung out with her in a while. I don't know why I came over here. She died here. Well, I guess, yeah, it's raining, so. She wouldn't be here. I don't know how much that fertilizer what would you like? do I have. I got three. I'll buy three more just to be safe. Let's go. I guess we still need to work at Crossroads one night to do a get that. I don't know what you say. Mementos request. Hello. Hey. There you are. She won't believe how weird the chief's been acting. Sit down so I can give you the details. All right, real quick. What bond rate? Got any new? Seven. Okay. Yes, let's hang out with her. Come on, sit, sit. <laughs> so the chief reduced my quota. He even apologized to me. He said he's been concerned for my health, which is actually kind of creepy now that I think about it. Anyway, let's. That's not all. He said he's let me reopen my investigation into what happened to Kayo. He told me he wants to do everything I can to pursue the truth. I think he was serious. I wonder what happened to make him change so suddenly. What? Just out of the blue? Hmm. The whole thing's too convenient. It seems a little fishy, you know? I mean, you asked me for the chief's name the other day, right? Uh... No? Hmm. Why are you giving him such a hard time? Aren't you gonna tell him the other good news? I... I know where K.O. is. That was part of the Chief's apology to me. Apparently he did some investigating of his own. So he followed up on my journal's friend source, and it turns out she really is alive after all. That is incredible news. So where is she? A mental hospital. That explains why she hasn't been able to contact me this whole time. I really want to go see her, but to be honest, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know the truth. Not just about Ko's current state, but about what happened to her that night. Huh? That's really considerate of you. But the hospital season is far out in the countryside. But, thank you. You give me the courage I need to do this. I'm gonna go see her. No matter what happens, I need to see this through the end. Otherwise, I wouldn't be as you go. Oh yeah, journalist extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm really glad I talked to you about this. I never would have made up my mind without your help. Well, you're way more than just some high school kid. You're almost like my guidance counselor. All right. No rank or no uh, perk. It's okay. Oh, by the way, everything with the chief worked out okay, but the higher ups are still keeping an eye on me. So I'll need to keep the juicy tidbits coming. I can't stop writing about the Phantom Thieves <laughs> now. All right, let's see what you got for me today. All right, my 
charms going up, but that doesn't matter because we have max charms. Well then. So, yeah. Oh well. Wow! What's that smell? Did you get the new perfume? It's nice. Yes. Yeah, New fall fragrance. It's supposed to be mysterious as the Phantom Thieves. I thought I'd wear it to show my support while they're out taking down an evil corporation. Show the support, huh? I'll post a photo online of all the fan merch I've. Let's say. Masked. That's what I thought. Maybe they'll be motivated by how passionate their fans are. Cool. Got some Phantom Thief perfume. Why not? I gotta say, it looks like everything's coming up roses now that Haru's on our side. Hmm? What flowers die in autumn, do they not? And ignore. How about you, Haru? Have you gotten used to this yet? Yes, thanks to all of you. Just kidding, like this is great. No, I never had a chance to do such things until now. This isn't the time for me to be enjoying myself, though. Don't worry about it. This class is boring as shit, anyways. You know I'm reading this, right? we go again. Haru, once personal resolve pays a new pass, it is the same circumstances for me. Regardless, about two weeks remain, I should stay on guard. Yeah. What he said. Oh, alright. I thought that just said four and I almost just pooped myself. Alright, so, 27th. Kodo and, uh, Taba are interested in hanging out. On, screw you on. Ken, I oh, know, Taba wants to go to the palace, I guess. Um, let's go with the Kemi. I don't know why I did that, that was dumb. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, so, I'll click. Hello. The evenings have been getting cooler. It's easy to get sick in the in between periods as the seasons change, so be careful. So what are you here for today? Clinical trial. Hooray. I've made progress with the medicine. Can you take along for a bit? Yes. Yes, I can. I would love to hang out with her. Um, Let's go. The park. It's nice. Here. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine. They're all there inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment and be ready to treat me which on with it. Excellent. And the rest is up to you. So this is the kid from your study. <laughs> yes, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? I'll call you later. He's a doctor treating me which on. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks for helping me with the trials. Well, you know, it was rough. <laughs> Not bad. Well, that was really fun for me. My tour of the medical facility and the discussions I had with their development team. I'm confident this will be a success. They'll complete development on schedule. Final result will be out of my hands, though. If I don't accept their offer, that is. Mm. I was recruited. He offered me to the position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'll have to close my practice. I'll start first thing next month, unfortunately. The Kemi Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. Um. 
parched my patience to transfer to that hospital, and I'm sure to give them priority there. <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa-chan and receive my reward. Her smile. Oh, I need to give you a reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up on his end of the deal. Alright. Anyway. You were really concerned when you thought it was going to close the US office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay. Hey. You can tell me. Why did you keep coming to see me? Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? Oh, we gotta tell her it was for our exams. Marty I dating see. Kawakami. Is that so? Well, I can take a hit. It's getting late. You should get going. Come visit anytime. I'll see you later. That one hurts. Ah, oh, you're back. You're back. <laughs> Deadline's coming, my previous request, I want to verify you. Um, yeah, let's hang out with Chihaya. We haven't done that, like, at all. I really want to verify your skills. I have the perfect client for your test. When's a good time? Yes. I'll be waiting for you at my shop. I'm going to expose your so-called skills. You can't fool me. Uh, I will fool you. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there, Mifune Sensei. I can't, oh. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. By the way, who is this boy? Oh, you don't need to mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you can think of him as a human sized stuffed bear. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman even though he's a guy? Uh, something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I take that to mean something else has happened in your job. Yes, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. <laughs> Terrible. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, it's esoteric. Show us the truth, though, divine power. Yes, I've seen everything. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. Oh, what should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? Your thoughts. Are you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is impressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? What? It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Don't be so irresponsible, that's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated and dead industry. My mind is made up. I'm gonna quit my job set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, I still won't be wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mifune Sensei. What? Huh? Uh. You 
far too irresponsible on your son. The misfortune has already been made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. What? It, it seems a sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you... Are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you to the depths of hell, you know. Yes, I to be that. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That's how it must be. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Anyway. Change the flow of destiny twice now. Both times come from my very eyes. It seems this verification process has turned to be much more meaningful than I expected. Since Chihaya's intense motivation. And we don't get a rank up. Alright. That's just how the world works. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye! Well, that's enough for today. Good night. Oh, we got a seat. Let's keep reading the swords book. Hmm? Alrighty. Mm. Samurai book. Dude, we better get frickin' hella guts or whatever from this book since it's two, hey, hey. three things long. And it was like Breakfast, and so I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Ah, yeah, it was a totem pole. It's so colorful, I just love watching people try and eat it. I'm amazed whenever someone can actually eat it neatly. Mm. Eating a totem pole, huh? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. Mm. Can't imagine what kind of food looks like a totem pole. Can anything that impresses people? The mystery deepens. Totem pole at the diner, huh? Now I'm interested. Alright, so that'll unlock a new thing for us to eat, it seems. Impresses people. Alright, class question. Um, it's a big one. So first, we gotta pick Phantom. And then we pick Vibration. And then we pick Syndrome. And that's how it's done. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. All right, we're almost to October. Who wants to hang out? Makoto and Utama. What are you gonna do today? I'm waiting on the Keep me posted. See you, Utama. Heading your way. It's been a while since we've hung out with her, so I'm trying to keep the love uh, for everyone. Pretty even. Welcome back. Ooh, Kyle, welcome home. What are you gonna do today? Let's hang out. You know we're in the middle of an operation, right? Are you sure you don't want to infiltrate? Well, be really. Yeah. I guess I can't play like, too much since you're gonna hang out with me. You got the time? Let's keep going on that promise list. Um, check our bond real quick. <laughs> Rank three. All right. Let's hang out with me. All right. Let's hold a strategy meeting in LeBlanc. Don't worry, there are no customers around right now. Hmm. Next promise on the list is go to school. Right. Pretty hard stuff from the second boss. It's gonna be harder knowing there are people there too. Alright, let's do it! Oh. Ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Huh? You're going to school? Oh, um, never mind. Just go have some fun. <laughs> Here we are. School. 
I think my heart's gonna pop out of my chest. Huh? What? What are you doing here? Um, well... I see. A promise list. Like what you used to make with your mother. Well, do you want to come in? Um... Can I use a go ho instead? I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Most of the students have left already, and all the teachers are in a meeting. Oh, and I'll join you. I can use my position as student council president to avoid any problems that may arise. Really? You're incredible. If I've got the two of you with me, this place is going to be as easy as fighting a trash mob. I'm not sure I understand. That's a good thing, right? Anyway, come on. I'll show you around the school. Um... This is the cafeteria where some students choose to eat lunch. <laughs> lunch? That reminds me of this time I was the only kid who didn't get a pudding with my meal. Oh, this other time I ate a strawberry with ketchup on it. I didn't notice because they're both red. It was really gross. Um, anyway... The cafeteria is pretty boring, huh? Let's move on. Um... This is the school library. We have all the regular academic fare here. Textbooks, encyclopedias, student guides. But we also have a few manga and light novels at the request of some, especially local students. So many books. Do you like to read, Futaba? Mm hmm Back in elementary school, I memorized the titles of all the books on the shelf in just one glance. The other kids thought I was making it up when I told them, though. But then, when I recited all the titles to prove it, they just laughed and called me a freak. Am I weird, Kyle? I don't want to be talented if it's going to creep people out. Ugh, school is the worst. Well, should we move along? Only the classrooms remain. Though on second thought, maybe we should pass on this today. <sighs> should we head back to the entrance? <sighs> I'm sorry, Futaba. No. Don't be. It's my fault. I remembered all that sad stuff on my own. I guess dwelling on the past is just a bad habit of mine, huh? Huh? What, what kind of weird fetish stuff are you into, Kyle? But... Honestly, Futaba, it's clear how much you've improved recently. You might have never gotten so worried about this before. Huh? What I mean is, worrying about something is the first step towards changing it. Coming to school like this is a huge breakthrough, Futaba. You're doing great. Right, Kyle? Ooh, a new Wait, discovery. so you're happy with me even though I was got totally depressed? Hmm. Is this like what that saying goes when life gives you lemons? Maybe I can make lemonade for the Phantom Thieves. Uh, figuratively, figuratively speaking. You're right. That would be wonderful. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Guys, I need water. My throat is dry as hell. Chance to instantly hold up enemies from starting battle. That's pretty neat. All right. All right. We're getting a lot of good perks for starting off the battles. I'm sure you would make a lot of friends if you decided to come to school now, Futaba. Friends. Futaba? Oh, uh, nothing. Alright. I went back to school, so that means promise number two is all done. Okay, going Anyways, home. let's retreat for now. What are you feeling for dinner? How about curry? Okay. Time to make like a rabbit and hop on out of here. Ah, you're back. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't like hearing people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means that people are really starting to count on us, right? This fever may be too extreme. It is a dangerous omen. We could face a great danger if anyone managed to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. No way someone's gonna find out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We need to be more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? It doesn't make sense. No texts. 
Because people are probably mad I'm just ignoring him all the time. Is this still coming? Um, Ooh. I'm kind of delaying the Hifume thing because I don't want to go to Mementos anytime soon, so there's really no point in wasting a night on her right now. I, we're gonna have to do it eventually, but I want to get the other stuff out of the way first. Bye, Mishima. Hey. Oh, door. Oh, right. Do you need me to talk about last time again? Thanks. Somewhere I can talk to you about alone. How does the park sound? <sighs> hey, um, I've been thinking a little about about Kiyama Kun. Huh? Well, actually, I was gonna say the same thing. I mean, going after him wouldn't even help you guys get famous. That'd practically be pointless. Huh? Wait, how do you know about that? Oh. Oh, I get it. Of course the thieves who steals hearts would see what's going on in the depths of my psyche. You know, I first started the fan site so I could Spread your message of justice to the world. But before I knew it, the only reason I wanted to help you guys is so I could get famous myself. Though maybe that's always been the real reason. <sighs> I don't know. I thought I was doing it out of respect for you guys. Yet deep down, I think I really just wanted to show the world it's on board and some stupid zero. Where that got me though. I'm just a selfish loser clinging desperately to prove or to your popularity. I don't deserve to work alongside the valiant Phantom Thieves. Well, thanks for everything. Bye. <laughs> oh. Man, I totally ate dirt. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I can't even run away right. Working alongside the Phantom Thieves has made me feel like I can change the world. But it's only ever been you guys. I'm still just as powerless as ever. That's the truth. <laughs> I wonder if there's really any way a pathetic guy like me can help you. That's it. My special power lies in running the fan site. I don't want it to be about public relations anymore. First and foremost, that city needs to be the safe haven for people in serious trouble. After all that happened to me with Kamashita, I know how hard it can be to speak out against injustice. So as long as there are voices crying out to the Phantom Thieves, I'm gonna help them be heard. Fanboy! Greatly increases experience or Alright. Nice, nice, nice. At any rate, we should just forget about going after Akaya Kum. Okay. I'm still worried about some of the rumors I've heard about him, but I'll just do some more research. By the way, he's not as bad a guy as he pretends to be. Apparently he's super sweet to his <laughs> girlfriend. Can you imagine that? We've been talking about getting married ever since back in middle school. I'm honestly kind of jealous. Well, see you later. Enough of the yapping people, come on. Alright. And just boring class questions, no one cares about. Um, the correct answer is the fisherman. Yep, see, I'm that good. And like we always say now, I was just maxed out, so. Okay, uh, we are about 45 hey. minutes into the episode, so I think this is a good time to end things off at. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.